the top of the world, you yeah. dick What's up, YouTube? Um, so, about an hour or two ago, I just found out that I just found out that Kobe Bryant died. And this is, I'm just waking up to this. My boy Jordan calls me and he's talking about, hey man, have you heard about Kobe Bryant? I was like, what, what happened? He said, Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash. At first I thought he was bullshitting. And I was like, bro, don't play with me, bro. This is you playing around. He said, no, bro, dead ass, he died in a car crash. I mean, a helicopter crash. I just couldn't believe it. I was I was denying. I was like, no, bro, you're lying. You're lying to me. You're playing around. He's like, bro, go look. He's in Fox, bro. This is the snap. So I go on my phone and look at it. And it actually says, and I started tearing up, bawling, tearing up. And I couldn't even talk to him on the phone. My cousin started calling. I couldn't even talk to him. I, I'll talk to you later. I started bawling up crying. I couldn't believe it. My idol just literally just passed away today and I couldn't believe it. I was so devastated. I didn't know what to do. Things Kobe did for his the, his community, for basketball, his family. And I'm, I'm so devastated. Then probably like 30 minutes or hour go by, I found out his, one of the, one of the youngest of the, the daughters, Gigi, was in the helicopter with him. And I, I couldn't believe it because you look at it, Gigi was always with Kobe. He, she was always with his dad every game. Every game she was learning how to play basketball. She, Kobe was teaching her and Kobe was a great dad. And I, I, and she was only 13, yo. She haven't lived life, she was only 13. Life is too short, yo. I don't know what happened. I don't know how it happened. And it's crazy because there was only a way to the Mama Academy for uh, Gigi's practice. There's on their way to on on their way to practice, and and it happened. My prayers go out to Vanessa, Natalie, the the youngest daughter, all of them, bro. My prayers go out to all of them, cause. I just hope Natalie Vanessa are okay, and I and I can feel their pain. Everybody, all all Kobe fans can feel their pain, because Kobe has really been an inspiration to all of us. On and off the court, what he does his community, and I'm so devastated that he passed away. I did not want to wake up to this on a Sunday morning. I thought 2020 was to be good, but come on now. We starting off with a legend that's dying off the rip. Come on out, bruh. How many times this man has rode a helicopter and today it happens? Out of all the other times, and not, I, don't, I, I wish no death on nobody. No death on nobody. But Kobe, man, someone who was impacted, but not in the community, the earth, the whole, everybody, Kobe fans all around the globe. And, and I couldn't take it, man. I can't take it. To see a 13 year old girl Could remind me of my sister. My sister's only 15, bro. 
And this mean this really means life is short. Death could happen to anybody at any time. I, I don't, bro. I don't wish death on nobody, bro. I don't. Everybody, please, whoever watches, bro, please. Cherish your family. Cherish people around. Cherish people you love, bro. Because you don't know when it's going to happen. You don't know when death has occurred. Death is any time, any day. You you got to cherish the moments with your family, bro. Because death can happen at any time. I would hate to lose my sister. I would hate to lose my sister. I would really advise this to every. I don't know what I would do. So please, y'all, y'all cherish our families, man. Your Kobe was a real inspiration for me. Just to see him die. Just see his oh, his, his little girl die, bro. It's not right, man. It's not. Oh, like all these times he rode in his helicopter, bro. The Gigi, it went, like Gigi is always with Kobe, bro. She, I can't, man.